Welcome to Linker Online. Um, I'm just going to do this video really about some uh, some new moulds that I've been sort of experimenting with playing uh, uh, making. I haven't quite got them exactly how I want them yet, but they're pretty good. I haven't actually cast anything in them yet. I made the moulds um, or, or the positives out of like timber uh, with a special uh, face on them, etc. And but I had trouble getting them out. So I'm trying a new method shortly, but they've, they've come out okay, they're usable. Um, so all I'm going to do really is just do a quick video on casting this and show you what the results of uh, what, what the results are going to be, so that um, when I get the moulds right and then I offer them up to other people to use, you can see what you're going to get. So um, just as we did before, um, and if you see my video one, which is uh, casting um, every hundred grams of uh, my tough cast uh, which I sell on eBay and on the website and 40 grams of water so exactly the same combination using exactly the same stuff and especially so um, we, we sort of need to use this type of powder because we don't want any expansion at all in here or we're going to get a walking effect okay so water into the cup nice and straightforward I'll just mix this actually I won't mix it on there because I don't want it to get all over the mould and just as we did before in video one and just start mixing this in I'm just going to cover it again because I've had quite a lot of uh, emails and contacts off the website about about this casting powder so as I said I call it tough cast it's a blend of Herculite LX it's got some outdoor casting powders it's got some strengthening components put mixed in with it um, and I just sell it in two kilograms or four kilogram boxes which will do you quite a lot of moulds so I'm just chaffing away while I'm doing this if this comes out okay which I'm expecting it will do um, then what I'm going to do is be perfecting these moulds um, which are again are a special texture on the face of and you'll see as I said you'll see the results um, so I'm going to be casting the, uh, making those again um, out of a latex rubber and I'm going to be offering on the website so the shop's online it's been online for a couple of weeks now and uh, there's quite a lot of you visiting there I put a little bit too much powder in here I can tell I have but there you go do it rather rather quickly so that's going to call that it and just as we did before really good stir up and you can skip this part if you want, just move on the video to where I pour it and then I'm going to pause the video until it dries and leave it for about an hour, take it out and show you what we get. And these moulds here are just spares for in case I've got too much. I don't even know how much I'm mixing here. This is the first time I've done this myself. Okay, nice consistency there. Give it a tap. And you should do that, just forces the bubbles to the top. think we'll start with the big one why not so I'm just going to pour in one corner and let this thing begin to find its own way just following the uh, the liquid on but not up right at the edge just pouring it in the middle now this is a, a it's like a pan tile roof or a um, I don't really know the name for it, but it's very similar to the pan tile roof, but it's, it's a heavier tile, deeper ridges and cuts. It took me ages and ages to find something suitable to do it with. And this is going to build you one quite huge roof section. And then you can cut that up into any shape or size you want. But what you get with that is you won't get any of the joins on the roof. You just get one nice piece that you can cut up to uh, whatever size you want. And just about there now. I'm just going to use most of what I've just mixed so you can tell how much that is because this normally does six six of these moulds on my left here. I'm not going to quite chuck it all in there because I'm sure there's a bit of excess in that. I'm just going to tap it into the corners. Again, I'm working on a glass. Board. I need everything to stay as flat as pancake. This stuff's quite soft, so 
and I need it to stay perfectly flat. Just tap that along. Get the air bubbles out. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do exactly the same with these here, and then we're going to come and extract it in about an hour. Okay, so that's been drying for about 45 minutes. Uh, just one other thing to uh, let you know: if you put your hand on there while that's after it's just started setting, it's quite warm. In fact, it's really warm, and you sort of know when it's ready to come out of the mould. It's hard to tell on these little ones. But it's, it's cold, it's gone really, really cold now. And it's, it's quite hard, it's not dry by any standards, but it should be dry enough to take out. Like I said, I've never took these out before, so let's see how we go. Okay, I'm gonna do the small one first. It seems to be stuck to the glass for whatever reason. I'm just gonna put my spatula under there. I think we can see just how easy that's gonna be. Take out of there. There we go, okay. I hope you can see that. That's a thin roof with some odd tiles missing on purpose, um, like a round type. So we'll just pop that over there to dry. Okay, next one. Nice and easy. Let's see how easy this is going to come out of here. Okay, this is just a fine tile, square roof. I've got lots of others of these I'm practicing with now, which are um, all different types of walls and things, but I'm trying to get the moulding right. So I hope you can see that quite close. I'll post some pictures on the uh, on the website when it's dry. Just move that out of the way. Seems to be maybe got a bit of water underneath it on the glass, so I'm just going to get it off the glass. There we go. This is the one I'm looking forward to more than anything else. And that should just fall out. There you go. There we go. One whole big sheet of roof. And tile roofing. That's going to be absolutely great for doing a large building. Or cutting sections out of. That's turned out really, really nice. Really, really pleased with that. Okay, I hope you can see the detail. And that's going to be it for this video. Um, keep checking online, I'm going to be posting more things and I'm going to do a, an article on how to create uh, rubber moulds. You'll have to make your own designs. <laughs> uh, but there you go, and that should be flat as a pancake. Okay, thank you, keep building.